and came up. Bustin' down the whole bag. Broke nigga step back. Bunch of people nigga swag. He ain't even gotta ask. What are those with his dad? Please don't touch my rap. Please don't touch my rap. Racked up like rappers. Racked up. What's up, fuckers? You see this long hair? Yeah, what's up? We're gonna get about to get it cut. Fresh fades right there. We out here. But yeah, um, update you guys. So uh, I tried to scratch the 1500 the night before, but I missed the deadline by one minute. So I had to show up on the line, do the 1500. Um, I was only gonna go 200 meters, then I went 400 meters, then I went 600 meters because it felt so good. Like I actually feel like I could have really PB'd in that race around like 405, 405 maybe. Um, but yeah, we're saving it for the steepler night. I race in four hours. But yeah, I'm gonna go get this mullet fresh and cut up so I can look sexy on the line. Or should we sprint across? There we go. I'm gonna get a fresh fade. Man, I said this booked up, but yeah, like I literally walked in, there's this one guy, give him a crispy dap up. There's like all the barbers were in there are like my age, which is pretty cool. It seemed like a sick shot shop, but yeah. What the hell, bro? Homie wouldn't even let me in. I gotta go find another place now. Yeet. Yeah. It's a good day for a good day. Send him big love. Yo, talk to him. What are you, what are you saying? What are you saying, yeah, yeet? What were you just telling me? Where's the camera? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let me, let me, let me show y'all. <laughs> just, just kidding. I don't have one. Oh, no, I'm going to show you what I'm working with. Yo, what's up? What's up, Mokhtar? Say hello, man. It's all filming on, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. Bring the mullet up. The boys are getting ready to race. Let's get it. Gotta fuck it up. My dollar really up a dub. I lay your bitch in Prada. Put her in a bed, take her out of. Sebastian Lind from Alberta. He'll have All right, so here we got the 3,000 meter steeplechase junior Canadian national final. Um, I've had quite a bit of time to reflect on this race, and um, I mean, you can kind of see what happened here. Going into the race, I guess I'll start talking about that. Going into the race, I, you know, I wanted to get a medal. I wanted to get a medal at national i mean i think that's everyone's goal going into the race and so i talked to my coach and my race plan was to go with the leaders and before the race we thought the race would be taken out pretty slow like we thought it would be kind of tactical because the it's funny going into the race i had the second fastest seed time but um then it came to race day and these boys they took it out fast i mean and I tried to go with them because I talked, yeah, like I was saying, I talked to my coach and our race plan was literally just stick with the leaders that first lap. Um, and honestly, just stick with the leaders until you fall off. Really, because there was really no other race plan. And that's what I did. And they took it out really fast. And I mean, up till now, I was kind of sticking with the leaders. Um, but so as the race went on i started to realize like i wasn't going to be able to hold this pace and i went out too fast and whenever you go into, whenever you go too fast in a race it never ends well because you hit this lactic barrier lactic acid barrier where you just can't recover from the oxygen debt and things just start to go downhill and 
Right here, I could hear I was still kind of holding on, but they weren't quite going fully downhill yet. You know, I was still, I was kind of in no man's land, I guess, here. Not right on the leaders, but a bit ahead of the other pack. But yeah, this is coming up on 800 meters. Um, I mean, we came through, the leaders came through, I came through 800 and 225. The leaders came through in 224. To give you an, an estimate, that's nine minutes steeple, 3,000 meters steeplechase pace. And that was the World Junior standard. So these guys are on pace for the World Junior team. Um, and this is kind of when I realized I fucked up. And I just started to fade. And here we're coming up on a K to go. And I just started to fade. And that's what happened. And I just died. But reflecting on the race now, this is a little wild after, is like I put myself in it and... I realized, you know, I didn't have it on the day, and sometimes that's just what happens. Okay, we got the foreign psych. We don't care about that. What's up, Horizon Track Club? Tell me who you are. Tell me why you're here. We're Horizon Track Club. I'm using my shitty voice recorder here because we're fucking broke. Yeah. Now, what are you saying? You got this. You got this absolute this road, bro. Honestly, these are pretty trash. No lie. We went to Portland last week. We showed up with this. We saw the competition and they're big extendos, and we're like, damn, we're getting. So everyone has bigger guns than us, but. Yo, no one's pumping out the views, the content. That's no true. one's getting it like That's us. <laughs> we're we're growing Canadian track and field, and we're changing the game. So, hey, like, man. no matter how big your guns are, it's all about the community and who's backing you up. And we got the community yo, backing yeah. us up. Yo, yo, look at look yo, at who's yo, here, look bro. At look at who's here. Yo, look at him, bro. Look at yo, look at who's here, bro. Come on. We're all cheering for Horizon Track right now. Shout out to our community back behind us. Um, yeah, we got our boys up and down here, and we're just uh, doing that big collab. Yeah. We're just we're growing the sport. Yo, no one wants to put in the hard work. Sometimes you gotta have that double Kimbo on you and just be ready for whatever. I'm at war right now. This motherfucker got the extendos on him. Show him the extendos. Show him. Show the extendos. Show the extendos. The clips, no? are ready, the clips are ready. The clips are ready. The clips are ready. The clips are ready. <laughs> Give me a crispy dap right now. Here's crispy dap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? <laughs> oh yo. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> okay, so breaking news out here. We're at the Canadian Track and Field Championships. We're on the track, and they just sold us like there. There's no finish. There's no finish line. Like, they literally have no finish line. And they're trying to look for one, they're trying to find one. There's no finish line. At the... Oh shit, what, what is it? Oh yo, that's the Horizon stock. It's just blowing up right now, so be careful. So. Let's go, Maddie! <laughs> Let's go, Maddie! Let's get it. Hop off 
off a of 16 passenger. This a G5, no, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats, they some cannibals. Eaters. They like to the geek, geek. Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Daddy. Dress it up and make it real fun. <laughs> Whatever that fucking man. Dirty soul and unstuffed for. Spend a day to get my mind blown. Dress it up and go to NASA. 200 miles on the dash. I'm carrying lungs here too. Holy fuck, there's Trying to get her money, she was 19 Moving to Miami was a life's dream They told her she could end up on a white screen She liked that she thought she hey, was like me hey, hey. Stacy got the brave and a brand new bag Going up good so she... Ah, okay, listen to me uh, This guy, he knows how to do bad flip But he didn't do it But I don't believe him Second thing, this guy's a pussy Bruh but he does his best, and for that we have to respect him. 30! Love to the love. Much love, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 13. 13 is Vancouver. It's not a nice city. It's not very hard. Ontario is the best, Matt Horizon. Oh, so stand up! <laughs> Un gars va vous faire un trail, il dit ça Il peut plus, il est ça. Il a tourné. Mais les affaires là-bas. Ah, parce qu'il est trop. Quand tu vas aux Olympiques, tu peux plus faire le jusqu'à. Dis-toi. Feel like I'm living it twice, hard shit. What's up, guys? Race didn't really go as I wanted, but you know, sometimes you just gotta bounce back, you know. That's one thing I realized, like, and just after talking to a lot of people this weekend, is like a lot of, like, a lot of people I was talking to, they're like, oh, it wasn't my weekend. And like, that's just like part of the fucking sport, man. Kind of sucks in running because you really wanna do well and stuff, but you only get so few opportunities to really prove yourself. Okay, I capture though. It is different, hang it on, baby, because we're living so fast. I was saying before, yeah, not every weekend's gonna be your weekend and you're not gonna race your best race every single time. You know, if you're gonna have bad races, you're gonna have good races. And that just comes with racing more. Um, a wise man, Cam Persivia, showed up Cam right here, pop him up, bang. Um, I was talking to him last night at the Horizon Track Club after party and he was just, yeah, he was saying that the best thing you can do, like as a young runner is just Keep showing up every year, don't freaking quit. Keep training your ass off, be consistent. Don't take like multiple months off at a time. Just keep building in that work and like eventually it's gonna pay off. Cause he said like he PV'd like, or his PV was like 346 for like three, four years or something like that. And then well, out of nowhere he ran a 336. So yeah, I mean track's always all about staying consistent. And, like some years you might not have a good year, but make some changes, evaluate, and go for it. And that was kind of one of those years for me. So, ending on that note, thanks for watching and following the journey.
got crazy on Just gotta keep going Even if I go to hell, I won't be lonely If I was sinning, I was sinning with the homies